A while ago I made a video tutorial showing how to export MoGraph animations out of Cinema 4D by baking them in point level animation. So you can use them in other applications to render them or in your game engine. And it was well received at the time. I had many grateful comments but also many questions for the problems people have faced with that approach. Coming from a motion graphics background, I am not very familiar with the gaming industry, so I was quite surprised to know that in Unity game engine in particular, the point level animation is not natively supported. Well, there are some plugins, as I have discovered, but not natively. And then, after some suggestions from people over the internet, I worked on my technique and discovered that there are actually simpler ways to achieve the same thing. So, I decided to make this video showing you two alternative ways of exporting MoGraph animation and also dynamics simulations out of Cinema 4D. I mean rigid body dynamics. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I'll create a floor that will be the collision object, then add a sphere, parent it under a Voronoi fracture, add a rigid body tag, also add a collider body tag to the floor and as you see we have a simple rigid body simulation. The first method that I'm going to show you exports every single object separately with its animation and for that I'm going to duplicate the Voronoi fracture generator, make it editable and attach an Expresso tag to it. Add an hierarchy node which will output each object in the hierarchy separately, get the index out of it, and I will reference the Voronoi Fracture Generator object. After that, I will add a MoGraph data tag, read the index from the hierarchy, and reference the object's output by that index. And in the end, I will add one instance of this hierarchy as an output, and I will output the local matrix from the Voronoi generator to the local matrix of each object in the hierarchy. So now both these objects are connected. and you should make the Expresso be calculated after the dynamic simulation. And now I will export just the selected objects as separate objects. This will generate a big FBX object which will contain all the separate objects and their animations in them. Be sure to check tracks so that animations get exported and also selection only if you don't want anything else to be exported. And by anything else I mean camera lights and so on. Let's open a new scene and let's merge the generated FBX. And as you see all objects are imported with their animation baked at the object level. So there is one object, one transformation track. And if you want to export just the animations, not the mesh itself, you could add an null to the scene and choose replace with. And then double click the null so 
all the objects are replaced now with a null, which makes for a much smaller file size. If you want to export this way, you can re-export the nulls. Now for the second method, which will be baked at the point level. First, we put the Voronoi fracture under a connect object, which will merge all the pieces into one object, but be sure to uncheck the merge points option. Add a correction modifier. What the correction modifier will do under the hood is create a duplicated mesh based on the original one. If you hit play at this point, the correction modifier will create an instance at the first frame and as you can see, the rigid body simulation detaches the objects falling down, but the instance points created by the correction modifier will keep their relative position based on the first frame and will generate this messy mesh. But don't worry, we will correct this by going to another frame, a frame where all the objects are separated and hit the update button at the correction deformer. This will regenerate the instance points. This time they will be referencing this detached position. And now when I hit play from the beginning, the points remain separated. It is actually some manual work, but in the end it will be worth it. What I will do now is bake the position of the points in the correction modifier. And be sure at this dialog to check the PLA option. Now every point transformation will be baked at every frame, as you can see. I'll duplicate this setup, make it editable, but before make sure to delete the rigid body tag so it doesn't recalculate. Copy the correction modifier from the original setup and now if you can see this modifier modifies the original connect and now it's time to bake the connect object to PLA. If we export now this object, we will have one object baked at the PLA level. Be sure to check PLA to vertex cache. Open a new scene and merge this newly created FBX. And as you can see, there is only one object with all the vertices transformation baked on every frame. And these are both techniques I wanted to share with you. I hope you find them both helpful. In the video description you will find the link to my original tutorial as well. So that makes for three techniques to bake MoGraph animations and rigid body simulations out of Cinema 4D for use in other 3D applications. Thank you for watching and if you like the video, please share the knowledge.